Hi everyone, it's M. Akbar Asil, Military Figures uh, videos again. Hope everybody's good and healthy and safe hands. Uh, I'm just uh, putting a review on my figure that after a long time I was waiting for uh, the Medal of Honor Warfighter. Uh, the Tier 1 Operator Voodoo from the famous video game years ago that was popular as a military first shooting game. And I'm happy after a long time I was hunting for this figure and finally I got my hands on it. Uh, just to say that from all the military figures I've got so far in my collection, this is the best one for Tier 1 or for a Navy SEAL Team 6. You got everything on it. And really, Soldier Story did a good job on the box if you see it's the medal of honor tier one voodoo from the based on the game character voodoo and he's a tier one operator very nice figure i'll tell you that i went through two and a half hours of 62 parts to put on on this figure and one of the figure that so far in military figures 1.6 i have seen not that much accessories that this uh, figure carries, like from axe to their weapons to their accessories, everything you say, name it, it's on this figure. I wanna show you the best cool thing on this is the night vision goggles. It comes with a LED battery that you could put it on. Uh, the only thing you cannot put it off, but, it is a very nice uh, another style for a military figure to to right now have with this kind of technology like it's pretty close to like complete and i like this figure look at the head sculpt everything on his base camo desert camo you have a nice stand of Voodoo, Medal of Honor, the exclusive stand. The shoes, the the body is a pretty cool big body. And um, I just want to mention that it took me a long time to put all these parts together. And right now, that's the Night Vision goggles. We start on the head sculpt. Amazing head sculpt. It is looking real like a tier one, a big tough guy with his beard and his everything you, you name it is on this figure. I love the, the weapon, the rifle it has, the MK. The silencer comes out. It's pretty, everything comes out on this, on this rifle. It can bend from here and I have a short one. Now the hands, I like one thing that Soldier Story did with previous like figures we had. The hands had a problem, it was always hard. This hand is soft fingers, so easily you can put the glove on. It comes with two other hands, but I usually like it the realistic style with the gloves on it. So the gloves come easy, it's not hard to put on. And look at this figure amazing the head sculpt is good all the details and the vest you don't really have to put the these on like these are already on it so that helps out lots when you're putting this figure together there's a knife it carries there's the radio uh, i'm telling you there's like four or five grenades here that you put on the in the side the best cool thing on this figure is the based on the game has it axe here you know in the game it shows look at this axe it's amazing very nice detail they did a good job so it has a special place here in the back you have the wall cutter here there's another demolition for um the when they blow up the doors all that details apparently 
I'm saying that uh, probably Soldier Story did a great job on this figure. And if you're into Tier 1 or, you know, um, Navy SEAL or these uh, modern um, Navy SEAL military Afghanistan or Iraq style or Syria, this is the figure that it is based on the 2007 one, but that's pretty good detailed with the, what, what they made. And here's the amazing rifle. It has a grenade launcher, fully detailed. I want to show you the this this mass body on this figure. It is completely like it's not like previous we had figures that you know they're a little bit skinnier. This guy's full detail, puffed up, has these hairy hands that it look doesn't look at more realistic style, and um, I like the. Pouch is very nice, professionally done. Uh, the best thing on this figure is the head sculpt. Amazing head sculpt. And um, it has this beard here, the glasses, and the face. If you look at the face, it is it is truly based on the movie face we got here. want to pull out the glasses here and uh, Ed, if if this figure you guys can find and you're in the military 1.6 collective this is the figure that I suggest is good for so look at the base on the eyes and this guy just based on the movie the same face head sculpt I just want to show you the head sculpt. Look at that head sculpt. He is truly the game guy. And if you want to do kit bashes or want to upgrade or change this figure to a different, this is the head sculpt you need for tier one operators or Special Force or Navy SEAL Team 6. And um, everything is loaded on this. I told you there's a pen here. There's a notebook. It has everything you want. Scissors, the medica medical cap, and all these small, small stuff that you... There's, sometimes you just confuse where you're going to put the stuff because there's so many on it. There's like two kinds of antenna, like they just completed, like you don't need anything else for this figure to upgrade. The shoes are great. The helmet is great. Some people said the helmet doesn't match. I saw comments, but I'm happy the helmet is basic on the ones that were like exactly on those days in 2007. But whatever, everything else... I'm just happy with the head sculpt, this figure. This can be in my collection and uh, it's pretty unique. So if you guys like to get this figure, I suggest grab it and it's a good figure. It's from one year, two years old, but for military collectors, especially Navy SEALs or tier one operators, this is the figure you want. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and helps out uh, for a review. It takes a long time to put all this stuff, so I just did a quick review. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Um, I hope everybody is in good hands and healthy in this time. So thank you for watching this video and put your comments and like on the end of the view. Have a good day. All the best. Thank you.